I watched the game. Leeds United were un- unplayable, mate. That could have been anyone. They were in such good form, yeah. But Chelsea, without Kante, without Kovacic, they're they're totally different team in midfield, mate. When you've like Mason Mount, I think is a half decent footballer, yeah. But he needs to step up massively this season. Yeah, he needs to be that that Lampard type of player that's going to drag them through in games. Yeah, and so far I ain't seen that from him. Um, Kante is not going to give you a whole season. Yeah, and and if he does, it ain't going to be at the elite level because he can only do that for a third of the season now. Yeah, the top top Kante level, the level that he's set really. Uh, Kovacic is quite injured, injury prone. Mm. They need a midfielder, man. Yeah, uh, Loftus Cheek. I don't really rate him at all, if I'm honest. Yeah, I don't know what he brings to that team. Yeah, and then you look at the attack. Sterling looks out of his depth at the moment. He's probably thinking, why did I leave? <laughs> I could have been at City. Um, and then you've got Zayic coming off the bench. I mean, why is he still there? Why don't they just sell him? Because they don't want him. Um, Shy Havertz up front. We need to have a conversation about this guy. Apart from a Champions League final winner. Yeah, what has that guy actually brought to Chelsea? Apart from high wages and a load of hype. Nothing. He's done nothing, really, Terry. And every time I watch him, I just think... This ain't the Bundesliga, is it, mate? <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you're winning, yeah. winning um, headers left, right, and centre, and you've got time and space to run into. This is the Premier League, and Leeds United um, fully deserve to win that game. It could have been a hell of a lot more, if I'm honest, as well. It could have been five or six. That ain't even a joke. And um, in answer to the question, is this them all season? They need a striker. If they get a Bamiang, yeah, and people are laughing and say, oh, he's washed up and this and that. In Tuchel's system, he don't necessarily play with a striker that um, gets involved with play. Like That's why Lukaku, he didn't want him. Yeah, because Lukaku wants to come short. He wants to spin you. He wants to play on the like, shoulder. But um, he wants to get link, like in the link-up play as well. Aubameyang ain't going to do that. like Not consistently, anyway. Aubameyang is just get in the box, movement, score goals. And that's what I think Tuchel wants, which is why I, I do think it'll happen. I do think they will get Aubameyang. Um, mm-hmm. That's going to give them maybe 15 goals, maybe more in all comps. I still yeah. think he's got something about him. And then I think, um, I don't necessarily think they need a centre-back, which is mad why they're doing 70, 80 mil bids for Fafano. He's a good player, by the way. Um, mm. But I think that they should be spending that money on a centre-mid. Yeah, because Jorginho, like everyone was talking about him for Ballon d'Or a couple of seasons ago. I mean, based on what? <laughs> well, because he won a load of trophies. Yeah. Like, He's not yeah. the best player in the world. And when you take out Kante or Kovacic, he is nowhere near as good. Yeah, and they, they have elevated him and, and masked his deficiencies, maybe. Because when you put Mason Mount and Loftus-Cheek next to him, totally different ball game, in it? I don't think they'll be... I still think they'll get top four if they get a striker, i.e. a Bamiang. Yeah. Um, I'm, so, I'm shocked I haven't gone for Ivan Tony. I yeah, mean, they should be I, throwing the money at Ivan Tony. I, I don't under, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, I, I, look, if you look at, uh, you know, Wesley Fafan, I think is good. I think going above seventy million. I mean, there was talk. I spoke to a journalist about a few weeks ago that speaks to the exclusive team. Uh, Give me sport. Very good journalist, and he said that you know he was hearing rumors of eighty, but they, they would go to eighty five. They're still publicly stating Chelsea that they won't go above seventy. Depends how desperate they get. I mean, they're looking at Maguire. Maguire's now been dropped by Man United, and we'll get onto that later. Like, imagine that I, I, I can't. I don't believe they'll go and sign Maguire, but if they're not willing to give 70 million for like for Fana, what imagine else? If they did, oh, can you imagine? Mate, I've seen some of their fans sitting there saying, Well, I think he'll be good in the back three, mate. I'd love them to go and do what that. Thinking, why? But, but Tony, listen, I, I like Abamyang, I think Abamyang would do really, really well at Chelsea. I do, I'm, I'm not going to yield on that opinion, but mm. I, I don't understand why pe- nobody's going for, for Tony, even at 50, at 50 million pounds. Probably a little bit too much, All right? Probably is a little bit too much. But Gibbs White has just gone for forty-four million pound. Man United are about to spend seventy-nine million pound on Anthony. So, you know, I mean, Ben White, Ben White, Ben White, Ben White was fifty million, and I think he's. I like him. I know you don't. Ben White was fifty million, but for a striker that will score and that will create, that can lead the line, mm. that can bring the likes of the Sterlings of this world and the Mounts in this world into play with hold-up play, it'd be a brilliant signing. But y- your point on Kai Havertz, I mean, a- a- 110%. Like, he's a player that I liked. He's a player that I, you know, like I thought was good. I, I, this guy will go. But he hasn't gone to that next level. And he, for me, is why I test merchants are 
I mean, they're not even around anymore. They, they, they died last season. They've now been mummified and soon they'll become myths because he had all the tech. Like he's the, the reason that he was rated, ironically, is this. He was rated in Germany because he had the tech and looked good, but he was scoring and assisting. Comes to the Prem, still got the technique, still does, still, still looks a good footballer when he, when he does things, but there's no end product. The guy produces nothing. The, you know, from a, from a relationship point of view, this guy is the, is the dude that always ends up in the French friend zone. Takes, you know, he'll, he'll go to the restaurant, go to the cinema, <laughs> go for the cocktails. But then whilst, whilst he goes he'll, to the bar, he'll bar, turn up in a Ferrari. Yeah, with a nice Gucci <laughs> suit on, but it'll it'll end up in the friend zone. Yeah, but what happens, he, he, he does all the work, but while he goes to the toilet, she's on Tinder sorting out a hookup for when she leaves this date. That is what it is. He, the guy can't finish. <laughs> the guy can't score. And whether he, he ain't, I, I don't believe he's going to turn it around. The geezer is living off a Champions League final goal. He's living off a Champions League final goal. And I remember there's a Newcastle player many years ago who lived off a Barcelona hat trick, Festino Aspria. Decent when he came in. He scored his hat-trick at the beginning of the season against Barca. Rest of the year, he was he was Tosh. And a, good, a cousin of mine, a couple of good, good friends of mine, the Newcastle fans, and I remember them raging about it at the time in the friends group, how football ban banter started. They were like, this guy just got a hat-trick at the beginning of the season. He's done nothing since. And yet, everybody still says he's brilliant. Kai Havertz is getting that same treatment. It's, yes, you scored a massive goal in the history of Chelsea Football Club, but you have to keep scoring. You have to keep producing. And he's not doing it. And... You know, I still have a lot of faith in Thomas Tuchel. I still think he's a very, very good manager. Some of his, mm. some of his signings, though, you sort of think Tony's available, but he's going for a Bamiyang, sixty million on Gordon. Gordon, yeah. You Why know, don't they spend that sixty on Tony? Like, well, there's, there's, I know there's, they need a midfielder, what, but they need a striker. What about, what, Pedro, what about Pedro Neto? If you're going to be an inside forward, Pedro Neto's better and he's cheaper. It, it doesn't really make sense to me mm. some of the things that they're currently doing. Um, but I do think, though, I do think Chelsea will turn it round. There's just some of the transfers. I just feel like. I don't get it. And maybe we don't get it and it's going to kind of come to fruition a little bit, a little bit later. But like 70 million on Wesley Fofana, it's been rejected. Like there's a week to go, a week tomorrow, I think. No, a week and we, about, about nine days, about nine days left of the transfer window. And like Chelsea have got to get this sorted because Arsenal and Spurs are looking good. I'm sure Liverpool, like, I'm sure Liverpool will turn it around. City are already looking good. Like you, and, and you don't want to lose ground early on this year because I think that, I don't think there's going to be as many points dropped. Uh, as people think.